Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I just wanted to show you guys what I'm doing. This is that space that I had cleared out. I had that kale in here. And I mentioned in my last video that I was going to get it out of there and also fill in this space with some compost. So that's what I did. I amended, I put some compost in here and then some peat moss. And then I also put some coffee grounds in with there and I mixed it all in really well. So I just wanted to show you what I was doing. I ordered some seeds from this place here, Haas, and I'm really excited to grow. Um, like you, as you know, I'm always looking to fit things into all the space that I have. So I wanna take advantage of the space that I have here. And basically what I'm doing is I've got these plastic bottles. I don't like to let plastic bottles go to waste because well, I just don't like to let them go to waste. Um, what I did was I at, I was at Harbor Freight the other day and I came across a soldering iron for five bucks. Now, if you don't know Robbie and Gary's channel, then I would suggest you check it out. I got the idea from Robbie because she always uses the soldering iron to make drainage holes in her plastic containers and totes. So when I saw it there, I went there for a tarp. But when I saw the soldering iron there, it was five bucks and I couldn't pass it up and I was pretty excited that I came across it. So what I did was I got, I put it, I plugged it up and I put some drainage holes in here all the way around. I'm leaving the lid off, the cap, leaving the cap off and I'm gonna go ahead and stick it into the ground here. And what I'll probably do is I'll probably put a stake or a couple of stakes around it to keep it from toppling over and then the same thing for the one over here and I'm gonna fill it up with dirt compost I guess you could call it I'm gonna fill it up with compost and um, we're gonna grow I got these spaghetti squash here that I believe I'm gonna go ahead and put in this space so I'll probably put one in here and I'll put one in there and basically that's gonna i'm gonna fill all this up it's gonna have all this space to grow roots and then by the time it reaches the ground it can sprawl out once it gets once it finds its way out of the container but that way i can use this little space that i have here to grow a big plant okay because normally this type of plant needs um, a lot of space let's see the seed spacing is 18 to 24 inches apart and then the row spacing is like five to six feet so I'm gonna grow them in these containers and then we're gonna see how well that does and um, I'm gonna fill these up Zeke what are you doing So anyway, a uh, little bit about this seed company. I went ahead to, I decided to go with this seed company because normally I order from MI Gardener, but lately he's been out of stock on everything. So when I want seeds, I want to be able to go online. I want to be able to order them. I want to be able to get them fast. And I want to be able to order varieties that others don't carry. I know Kelly Kim grows this um, moon and stars, so I wanted to try that. I got sugar babies growing, but I want to try these moon and stars. So I'm going to do a couple of those, and um, I'm also going to do this red burgundy okra. I heard about this company through someone else's channel, so I decided to go ahead and look it up. I look, they, they actually have a channel as well, so if you haven't checked out their channel, I would suggest checking out his channel. He has a lot of information to share, and um, I just decided to give him a try. I got the seeds super quick, um, so that was a plus, and I am ready to go ahead and get these in the ground because they take time. The okra is going to take at least 50 days. Um, the squash is going to take 90 days, and I have roughly over 100 days left in my growing season, so I need to hurry up and get these going. 
Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and get the compost and the amendments in here and then get these seeds, these um, spaghetti squash seeds planted in there. I have a tote, but I want to use the tote for the okra. So I'm going to use my soldering iron that I just got and I'm going to make drainage holes in the bottom of this tote that I have and I'm going to fill that with the compost and some kitchen scraps and then I'm going to do this okra. But this moon and stars I'm probably going to end up doing in... Actually, you know what? I came across a couple of pots because I had like a little station that I had set up here that I was potting on. But I broke that down and now I have these pots. So, yes, I forgot I had these. I'm going to go ahead and probably stack a couple of these up. Um, this one, for sure, because it's already got a hole in it. And that'll allow for the plant to root out into the next pot so I'll probably like I don't know if you can see that I'll double it up and I'll bury this one inside this one that way it has all that extra space to grow so that's the plan for the watermelon and I'll probably squeeze it in over here right by the other watermelon and that way it can trellis on the fence I did this trellis here but I was having an issue with my camera it was not recording I think I had just had low battery, but I wanted to let you guys know what I did with this trellis for the watermelon. I got these branches from my pile in the back over there. So I got one branch here and one branch here, and then I got one branch in the middle. These garden stakes I already had on hand, so I got one going across, and then I got one going across on the bottom. All right, so what I did was I did the frame first and basically I did twisty ties, then I had a zip tie, and then I did the twine. And I did that on every joint, okay, across the whole thing. And then I took my twine or my jute, whatever you wanna call it, and I went around and around and around and then I came down and then I went to the bottom and I did around and around and around and then I came back up and around and around and around and back down. So I went up and down, up and down, up and down. And I got all of that done. And then I also, I zip tied this one to this one because this small one I already had in the grow bag. And then I reinforced it by um, connecting it to the fence got these ones here this is basically these ones on the side are just for trellising um, but this one here I got connected to the fence so that in case it wants to fall forward it won't be able to move and then I also have this one over here zip tied so that it can't move so it's secured in place and then I also have these ones here going down to the fence because the the idea is to have it grow up and then over the trellis and then go to the fence and I want it to go this way because my cucumbers I have going towards the fence but I want those to go this way so I want cucumbers to go this way and I want watermelon to go this way and I want to utilize my fence as a trellis so what I'm gonna do is this space right here I'm gonna fit that tote in so that I can grow that okra and then I'll put the watermelon over there with the rest of the watermelon. This blackberry plant actually came came out. I wasn't sure it was going to make it. It was looking pretty sad. So I had went and bought this other one that looked really good. And it it's flowering. It's got some beautiful little pink flowers on it. So I'm excited about that. But yeah, the blackberry looks like it's going to make it. Alright, so I need to get compost into those buckets I need to get the tote out so that I can get the drainage holds put in and then I'll let you guys see that as well how do you how I'm going to use the soldering iron um, 
I will probably get that okra that I have in there. As soon as that starts to sprout, I'll probably move it into a pot and I'll probably do the stacking with those two pots like I'm gonna do with the watermelon pot. So, um, and then I'll probably move it over by the other okra. So the other, the tote, I'll fit in here, like, you know, there, and then I'll probably fit the pot with the other variety over here. So this will be my okra section right here. And then maybe I'll just put the radishes in there, the watermelon radishes that I got when it comes time to get those put in. So that's the plan. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching like and subscribe so you don't miss anything um, if you have any questions or have any comments or have any suggestions even go ahead and leave them in the section below and other than that that's all I have for today you guys have a great day the more you know the more you grow bye now